there on YouTube. It's Jen. How's it going? I want to first um, take a minute to apologize for kind of not being around. Today's like really the first day that I've had a voice in almost a week. Um, in my last Friday Favorites video, I told you that I wasn't really feeling well. And it kind of like went downhill from there. And then I got a little bit better like Monday, Tuesday. And then Wednesday, Thursday... It was bad again. I like lost my voice. I was nauseous, chills, just not feeling very well. Um, and then the holidays were around and I was just between not feeling well the holidays and working, I just was kind of MIA. So I'm sorry. Um, I haven't even given you like an update or an anything. I didn't even do what I ate Wednesdays this week because Wednesday I seriously all day slept all day long. I got home from work the, um, Wednesday morning, and I slept from 9 until 5, woke up, had dinner, and went back to sleep for another 8 hours. So that just tells you right there how tired I was. Um, so I apologize. That's kind of what's been up with me. Um, nothing really that fun. So, yeah, um, as far as my eating has been going, I haven't been doing well at all. I haven't been eating bad or whatever, like bad meals. I've just been snacking a lot on pretty much whatever I wanted to. Cookies, uh, chocolate, uh, marshmallow, puff peep things, Skittles, you name it. It was in my stocking and I ate it in like three days. And that's probably why I got sick again, because I stuffed my face. But anyway, that's not the point of this video. Um, it's Friday, so you already know the point of this video. It's Friday Favorites, and it's the last Friday of the year. Oh my god, where did the time go? Like, It was just my birthday, and now it's the end of the year. And it's about to be my birthday again, January 6th, by the way. Um, so since it is the last Friday of the year... Um, and the last Friday favorites, I kind of want to do my favorite, favorite Friday favorites. Does that make sense? My favorite finds of 2011. Um, we did a very similar blog about it on Crazy Cooking Couple. But um, that was just like our favorite finds all together. Some of them were and were not in Friday favorites. Um, so I'm just going to go over with you guys. The things that I bought multiple times, the things that I really, truly love, I've fallen in love with, and, and they're now staples in my house, honestly. So let's just jump right into it. Um, the first one is Justin's Nut Butters, and my absolute positive favorite is the Chocolate Peanut Butter. Oh my goodness, this is sinfully good. So amazing. On bread, by itself, on a spoon. Um, with bananas, on an English muffin, you can't go wrong wherever you place this, really. Um, it's a little bit better than regular peanut butter, 170 calories for two tablespoons, but it is heaven. So good. Try this out if you haven't yet. They even come in individual snack size packs. You can check, um, justinsnutbutter.com for more details. All right, my next favorite find is something that I've actually showed you pretty recently. This is like our third bag, and look how much we have left. Like barely any. It's those noodles that I found at the Asian market, um, H-Mart, that are 30, what, 31 calories for an ounce. Can't beat that. I even put these in the microwave and nuke them for nine minutes with water. So good, so filling, so tasty, so easy, small calories, and it's pretty filling. So if you can find these, definitely check them out. Um, and you can Google just um, old man Q-U-E-H-U-O-N-G brand, and you can order them offline as well. Um, the next thing that I want to share as my favorite find of 2011 Friday favorites is the Heart Smart Bisquick. This stuff rocks, guys. Like, if you're going to make quick homemade pancakes, this is the shit. Excuse my French, but it is amazing. It is super duper easy to make pancakes. It is super easy to make waffles. They even make great biscuits. 
pizza even. You can do it with this stuff. It's so versatile and it's awesome. A third of a cup is 140 calories and uh, there's recipes on the back of the box and it's just so simple. It's so easy. Like combine this and milk and egg product. You don't even need real eggs. Egg substitute. And you've got pancakes that are so good. So easy. You can find these at any grocery store. Check this out if you have it. Amazing product. The next thing that I want to rave about that you all have seen already, but that is a staple now in my house. I did the one minute microwave um, video as one of my very first cooking videos on this channel, which if you guys like those, let me know. Comment below if you want to see another cooking video. And I'll try to figure out something really quick to show you guys. Because I hate those like 15 minute long videos from anybody about anything. Like, I don't want to listen to you ramble for 15 minutes. You don't want to listen to me ramble for 15 minutes. So if I can find a short 5 minute throw it together recipe for you guys and that's something you're interested in, let me know down below and I'll definitely start putting those up more often. Um, but the 1 minute microwave brought to you by... Uh, no Pudge, No Fudge Brownie Mix. This is original. They come in a lot of different flavors. My personal favorite, which I'm out of right now, is the Mint Brownie. Oh my god, Mint Brownie. Can you believe that? Mint Brownie. Say it with me, people. Mint Brownie. It's better than it sounds, and I know it sounds delicious. Um, all you have to do is uh, two tablespoons of mix, one tablespoon of fat-free vanilla yogurt, Stir it up, throw it in the microwave for one minute, and you've got a brownie type cake mix for 120 calories without the guilt. Oh my goodness, amazing. You can have your cake and eat it too, people. Try this stuff out if you have it. I've actually started seeing it being carried at um, Giant and Safeway, so check out your local stores like that. All right, bye. Uh, bye on that one. Huh. My last Friday favorites, because I feel like I'm rambling, oh my goodness, I'm sorry, is Arctic Zero um, Wee Protein Ice Cream Replacement. 150 calories per pint, ice cream goodness without the guilt. You can eat this entire thing for 150 calories. I will say, not the same texture. Um, I only really like the vanilla maple, and I just recently tried the peanut butter chocolate, which was really good. Thicker consistency, it's like a wee protein powder type thing, but still so delicious. If you're going to try it out and you want more of an ice cream consistency, let it sit out a while because it is, I don't know if you can hear that, kind of thick. See, you can't really scrape it off um, very easily. But if you let it sit out for about two or three minutes, it gets more creamy and is super duper good. Two thumbs up for all those products. Those are my favorite Friday fives. I hope you guys love them. Enjoy them, find them, etc. etc. Um, that's the end of this video because it's gone on for way too long. <laughs> All right, um, stay happy, healthy, fit, and motivated as always, everyone. Have a happy, healthy, and safe new year, please. And I will see you in 2012.